Hello YouTube. Today I would like to explain the basic or the concept of network pivoting. Basically, network pivoting is when you compromise a, a victim machine or a client PC and you want to extend your compromise and make your attack go further. For example, suppose here we have the network topology here and I have here my attacker PC, okay? which is running on a separate network from the uh, target network here. I have the network here, which is my target network, and I have my PC here, or the attacker PC here. My goal, or my objective, is to get access to the victim PC here, okay, and then escalate my way to getting access to both the email server and the web server. Given that, the web server and the email server are, are a separate network from the victim PC. My my question is or the video will answer the question is how you can get access to the email server or the, how you can compromise the email server or the web server after you have compromised the victim pc which is network pivoting okay post exploitation so basically i have put down three ways to accomplish this the first way here or the first two ways are accomplished within your your, your, your machine okay so, the first one depends on the concept of SSH forwarding, and the second way is, which is highlighted by red, which is proxy chains, and the third way, which is highlighted by yellow, which is using Metasploit Autoroute module, and then port forward. Let's explain and break down those piece by piece. So basically the first one is attacker laptop. So here I have my laptop here on the IP address 192.168.25.5 and suppose that I have compromised the client PC here or the victim PC which is running on the IP address 192.168.6.6. Okay. Now I have accessed this PC and I have root access or a limited shell. Okay. How can I make my way through accessing the email server and the web server given that those are on separate network than the client pc as you can see here but uh, but in a way or another the client pc has a connection to the email server and the web server basically in an enterprise scenario the client pcs need to retrieve information from the email server need to send emails through the servers need to access the web server need to retrieve pages so in other way or in, in, uh, in in a way or not, we have the PC is connected to the IMU server and the web server. So first way is here I use the SSH port forwarding. Basically, we have the command here. Basically, all those ways I will put them in text in the video description so we can use them and apply them. Just we need to change the IP addresses and the ports. So basically, here I have the first command which specifies the Client PC here, which is a client at 192.6.6.6, okay, as uh, a port forward point, okay. So here I'm telling the SSH that I need to forward any connection on the port 500, okay, to the IP address 192.6.8.5 on the port 500, okay, which is here through the use or through the client or through the address 1.166.6 which is here so this command tells that any connection that is made on the port 500 will get forwarded okay to the address here okay through or by the address here the client pc so now i'm ready on my machine after executing this command i can run any command against the system it will get directly it will directly get executed on the email server okay so here for example i can issue a netcat command and connect to the email server using the netcat okay so here i'm specifying my local host and the point is to specify the local host that the local host your your machine will forward the connection onto port 500 okay to this address here since you have compromised the victim pc this victim PC will will forward the connection which is netcat okay to the IP address or to the email server. Now you get connection back or you, you get connection directly to the email server here. Another way you take you can take advantage of this if 
if you have an exploit okay and this exploit runs on IP address and port you can specify the IP address which is your local host and the port 500 it's very crucial point to specify the exact port that you specify in the SSH command why because this port will be used to relay or transfer or forward the command which is excluded py to the victim pc and the victim pc will connect or transfer this or relay this command to the ms server so at the end will this command will get executed on the email server and you will have direct access or you have access as you have directly access to the pc or the server this is the first way the second way revolves around the use of proxy chains proxy chains is basically you specify a host okay as the the uh, entity or the party that will make the connections on behalf of you okay so we can accomplish it using the ssh so our goal is to use the client pc here as a foothold okay or as a mediator in order to connect to the servers here so in this command i am specifying that i want to use the client pc here as a proxy chain okay and i need to use it to forward any connection on the port 8080 to the email server or to web server doesn't matter so after executing this command we need to put those lines in a configuration file which is the proxy chain configuration file don't forget that the crucial line is here SOX4 which is the I have specified the client PC to act as SOX4 or proxy chain SOX4 and here I specify the localhost my machine and the port on which everything I will transfer will get through this port okay I save this file and pipe it to the config file and then here I will run or I run the proxy chains 4 and I used proxy chains 4 because proxy chain 4 gives you the ability to specify um, a file to use as a configuration file in proxy chains this is not possible so make sure you use proxy chains 4 to use a configuration file of your own so here I specified minus f the configuration file and here what goes after that is the thing that I want to ex execute against the system here for example I have a Python exploit here that will run against the server here on the port 100 1200 or 1200 once i execute this command okay the exploit will first forward it or get forwarded to the port 8888 which in turn will get forwarded to the client pc here and then will be relayed to the email server so this command you will use the victim PC as a proxy chain in order to execute this command or execute this exploit okay the next thing you can do basically is run netcat as we did it here we can do it here specify the proxy chains for the configuration file the command that you want to execute against the server here and the port okay now note that anything that comes after the uh, configuration file in the command is optional you can use any command anything you want to transfer through the port 88 and to the use of proxy chain in order to execute against the email server you can execute nmap anything against the email server it's basically the network pivoting concept the third way is to use metasploit suppose i had access from my attacker machine to the victim pc and i have meta repertor session okay now i can use metasploit module auto route okay this module will add a route okay to the intended or the targeted network here so in the auto route i will specify the network ip address or the target network ip address okay that i am trying to access set my session which is the session i established or the metropolitan session and exploit this will add the network here which is here which has the web server and the email server to uh, my metasploit session here as a default route so I, can, so I can access or execute commands against the servers using the victim pc next what i can use or take advantage of is using port scan i can scan the email server i can scan the web server okay using the auxiliary scanner okay since i have added auto route now after scanning those machines 
Next thing you need to do is port forward. Now this command is executed in the victim PC using shell. So here, let's write a note that this command is executed directly on the victim PC. Okay. So after executing those modules, you need to go to the RT uh, spawn shell from interpreter into shell and then execute this command. Now, what this command does is it will it will forward the port 22. Suppose you have SSH to the port 8000 on your machine. So now you can go to your machine, which is the attacker machine, and apply or execute SSH localhost and specify the port which is 8000 why because here I have forwarded okay the port 22 okay which is on the client uh, which is on the email server here okay forwarded to port 8000 now I can go to my machine and connect to the email server using the port 8000 okay so basically that's it that is network pivoting I will put those three ways into the video description you can copy them apply them just change the IP address and the change the ports and you are all set that's it guys thank you so much